G'day Spurs fans, Paul Hotspur Hippie here. I hope you had a suitably spooky Halloween and uh, I don't know if you've seen Spurs official but they've pulled out all the stops on Twitter. They've knocked up a really pretty average photoshop of the stadium covered in goop with some pumpkins in front. But hey, well, you know, it don't matter. It's the thought that counts. Now, I've uh, seen, I got this from Chris Cowlin. Um, the, uh, the details of a, the Nike third kit for next year. This is how far away they plan. Next year has been leaked. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if sometime, maybe it's happened already, I mean, what do I know, that uh, as part of a bold new initiative, uh, these kits, uh, these manufacturers like Nike want to squeeze a bit more juice out of the mouldy old lemon that is the working class and maybe change the kit twice a year, you know? They could do that. But the, uh, the new kit is going to be uh i think it's 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 sort of a minty green but it's got sort of you know weird marketing names for the colors i think one was emerald green but the other there was one there was a color in there by coastal by coastal what's by coastal who you ask well i've uh, done extensive well i haven't done extensive research i just thought i'd come down here for a break and it's just hit me in the face what by coastal is if you see behind me here in my secret location you got one coast there, another coast over there, as in the coast by. And if you look at the water down there, maybe you've got to look through it, at it through a pair of sunglasses. Oh, no, let's see if this works. Uh, no, that doesn't work. But if you were to have my eyes right at this moment, under this lighting conditions, which is a hazy day, that down there. That water is by coastal so you know i don't know if uh, the nike powers that be have been taking their breaks in the same spot makes me a bit paranoid uh, i'm gonna have a swim soon it's a bit cloudy but i feel like a freshen up and it hasn't rained for a couple of days so there's probably not much poo in the water because all the poo from the city gets washed down when it rains and it's quite windy um I see Valise has scored as well in the uh, under whatever. So that's good. It's his first goal in a Spurs shirt. And uh, let's see if he gets some more first team action. Uh, Brennan Johnson. There's rumours around, if you believe the uh, Fleet Street meathead hacks, that uh, Brennan Johnson might be starting against Chelsea uh, as, as our old gaffer. Oh, I, even, I don't even don't want to say in that phrase, old gaffer. Poch, a uh, man on the spot. Johnny on the spot as a person just walks by with their dog. It's all right, they've got headphones in. It's a good thing about, you know, being a human being these days. Everyone's just walking around with headphones. So you can just talk out loud. Hello, hello. can't hear me, can't hear me. Isolated in a little bubble. Um, but the, the thought, the, the, new, the new kits um, got me thinking, it's something I've been asked on the channel. What's my favourite kit? Spurs kit. Well, as far as the away, well, as far as the third kit goes, I quite like the yellow one. I quite like yellow, and I didn't mind sky blue, but I guess its its hue on the wheel of colour is too close to the normal away kit. Um, so I quite like a yellow kit. But you know, whatever it is, it's going to be better than the three-month-old spam left out in the sun. There seems to be growing on people. I mean, it's like Stockholm sh syndrome, but with shirts, isn't it? It's like it first comes out and everyone goes, oh God, it's slow to stink that one. But bit by bit, people go, you know what? I don't mind that kit so much. So the away kit, I like I like a nice yellow yellow kit. I like a V-neck. Um, my my favourite home kits would be the, uh, I like the, uh, the, the late 70s Admiral one, uh, which uh, on the Spurs Legacy uh, website, if you search for, if you search for, Tottenham legacy numbers. Top of the list, you'll go. It's a it's a page on Tottenham Hotspur site, and it goes through all the players we've ever had, and they've given them an each each number in in order of debut. And uh, I fa I found it a really interesting site. I, I'm going to go back to it again and again because it just it uh, it lets you go down a rabbit hole, and I like going down uh, old historical Tottenham rabbit holes. Um, so you know you can see all the players we've ever had. There's a load of beautiful pictures of some of the one from each year and a bit of a blurb 
on uh, some of the uh, uh, well, whatever you know, some players that they picked out for whatever for whatever reason. So it's, if you're interested in learning a bit about the history of Tottenham, it's it's fantastic. I think they've done a really good job with it. Um, hats off. But I like that Admiral kit, and I like the 1981 uh, kit. Maybe that's because we won something. <laughs> Simple V, little black line round there. I think it was the Cox Sportif, just had the uh, the logo in the middle. Back in the day when the football was massive and it had a tiny little cockerel on it, whereas now they're kind of, I uh, don't oh know, kind of made more sense though, because when you've got a big ball, you could imagine a little tiny bird balancing on it, whereas now you've got this cockerel, way. but I suppose it's maybe more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I also like the, the kit from uh, 1985 to 1987 when uh, we owned Hummel and there was obviously a glut of chevrons on the planet because these were covered in chevrons, covered in stripes and chevrons all over. You couldn't, couldn't move, couldn't move. It was like everyone looked like a bloody roundabout. But it was great because uh, Clive Allen used to wear it when he scored 49 goals. Um, and then after that, I, I quite like the kits as well. I like uh, up to about 91. And funnily enough, <laughs> maybe maybe it's because we, we we haven't won so much then i haven't been as interested in the kits uh but i'm fervently interested now because i think uh i think opportunity is knocking on tottenham's door right now so uh, i'm going to be happy to get my uh, third kit it might even be at my house now who knows um i can't wait to get it can't wait to get a new my new spurs summer hat because this is like you know i mean it stops me getting skin cancer but it's bloody hot in the summer, but it's cold today. Um, so, why don't you let me, this is a YouTube trick, why don't you let me down know in the comments below what your favourite kit is? I oh, won't, I don't reply. I just, I don't reply to comments. I do read them though. So hello to that bloke from uh, Hillingdon that said hello before, and uh, I know exactly where you're talking about. Very, uh, very similar neck of the woods. And, um, you know, coming from West London, there's a bit of Spurs pedigree there because none other than Steve Perriman comes from West London. It's not all North London, it's West London as well. Uh, so, you know, and it, 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 you can't get a better player than Steve Perriman. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, sneak off to a secluded spot and uh, get changed. I would film it, but I mean, I'd get demonetized immediately. It's too sizzling and hot for even only fans. So, uh, uh, what's the water like? I might just dip my hand in. Bloody freezing. <laughs> oh dear, but sometimes you just need to wake up. Anyway, I will be back soon. Now, at the moment, I'm in a bit of a rhythm of doing um, uh, live streams early in the morning in Australia. Uh, around about 4am. So that's about 5pm in the UK and some other time yesterday in america uh so 4 a.m uh, sydney i can't guarantee it because i do change my mind but I, I it sets me up nicely for the day i've been having a really good couple of streams uh everyone in the comments are on top form and uh we're having a bit of a giggle i am anyway and i hope that spreads out to there yeah, because that's what i want to do on this channel remind people that football's about bit, having a bit of a laugh we all we're all very serious about it but at the end of the day it's worth poking a bit of a finger of fun at and having a bit of a smile. And especially when things are going so well for, for Tottenham and Ange Postacoglu, that um, might as well have a bit of a laugh there. You know, Tottenham Hotspur, as I keep saying, are by far the greatest football team the world has ever seen. And uh, I think we're proving it yet again this year. Ah, oh, it gets boring after a while. <laughs> Maybe I'll say that after our fifth Premier League in a row, we'll see. Anyway, till next time, folks, peace and love, peace and love. Come on, you Spurs.